All right, what's up guys? I did a video on Cirques, which is the search engine I recommend. Um, but I realized, so the thing about Cirques is it can run on any server. You could install it on your own server. There are a lot of public instances of Cirques out there, but uh, I actually tried installing it on my own VPS and it works so easily. I'm gonna do this video just showing you the process. It's actually very well documented on Cirques' website. If you go to Cirques.me and click on documentation, It'll give you this link. So anyway, this will give you the ability to have your own search engine that you can customize on your own machine uh, and you can pull all these different websites and I don't know, it's just really sweet. It's, it's as easy as pie. In fact, this is not even going to be a tutorial. It's just going to be me going through and copying and pasting all of this stuff. So I, I should say there are a couple things you want to have before you start. Um, I've tried doing this on Debian and Ubuntu. I will say that their instructions are better, better for Debian servers. Uh, Ubuntu's repositories are a little different, especially like the Python stuff, or at least if you have a, a recent, uh, like the most recent Ubuntu release. Um, also, one thing you're gonna want is you wanna go to your registrar, whatever your registrar is, mine is Epic, it's right here, and you wanna go to your CNAME uh, subdomain uh, DNS like settings, and you want to make sure, uh, in my case, I want to have my search engine at cirques.luksmith.xyz because luksmith.xyz is my website. So you just want to have, um, you know, CNAME uh, records directing cirques uh, to your the website you want. I guess if you had a wildcard um, DNS record, that would work as well. Um, you can actually just have it on a page on your website, like, you know, let's say yourwebsite.com slash search. That's okay too, uh, but it's just this is the way I'm gonna do it. Um, that'll be in the documentation here. So on this window I actually have, well I gotta log in, but um, I have, I'm now in my VPS and I'm basically just gonna be copying and pasting these commands because uh, they basically worked out of the box last time. Uh, and I'll just go through and talk about what they're doing and any other things you have to change. Uh, so first we're gonna install basic dependencies um, just all the sort of basic stuff. Actually, most of this stuff probably Git and stuff I already have. Actually, I just redid my server, so it might not, uh, yeah, might need to install a lot. Um, so that shouldn't take very long at all. Um, we'll see how long. I don't know, probably not even long enough to uh, cut the video. Um, after that, we're going to go into the local directory, and we're going to basically download Cirques directly from GitHub. Um, you'll see also it adds a Cirques user. Um, looks like we're done here. And it uh, takes control of all the Cirques uh, source code under that Cirques user. Um, so just gotta press enter. Um, all right, so just installing all the dependencies. Oops, uh, gonna go in there. Um, so now there should be a little dollar sign up. What that means is you have basic, you are now the Cirques user, so you gotta do all the stuff the Cirques user needs to do. So I'm gonna copy these three commands. Uh, setting up a virtual environment for Cirques. That'll take a couple seconds. Uh, these commands on Ubuntu, if you have an Ubuntu um, machine, they might have to be a little different. You might have to download dependencies, stuff like that. I tried it on one of my Ubuntu VPSs and it's just the, the packages here are a little bit different. Uh, especially this command, because it, did, it didn't run on my um, Ubuntu install. Um, but after this, it's just installing like pip modules, like Python modules. Um, so once that is done, you're done with your search commands, you, you can press uh, control D to get back to your root user. Um, now it tells you to configure uh, your settings. So you can go into, with whatever text editor you want, go into the settings.yaml file. And there are a couple things you are gonna, well, you don't have to really change anything. Um, you can change the name, I might change, uh, maybe I'll you know say like Luke's, uh, Luke's Cirques or something like that. Um, one thing I, well, I think this is necessary. You, you're gonna wanna change the theme to dark, duh. I don't know why this is not default, but uh, Logico Dev Dark. Um, and the last thing, they give you the sed command to run, and what it does is it generates a secret key for right here, uh, but of course we're not, we're, we'll just run that so you, know, you don't have to see the results. Uh, copy all this. Didn't copy the S at the beginning, so. I Okay, all right, so now that's done. So now it tells you you can check to see if it's working, uh, just why not. So we'll do that, web app, and I'm just gonna check, okay, what does it see? Uh, no module uh, named requests. I might need a, oh, I might need to install, 
uh, UWSGI first. I, I might as well do that. Um, so I'll just do that first. Uh, I forget exactly. I feel like I ran into an error the last time I did this, but it ended up working. Uh, so install all this stuff, and it wants you to make a config file in this location. So I'm going to do that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So vim, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to just copy and paste all of this stuff because we're lazy. That's right. We are lazy. Um, and then it just says to activate um, uh, UW SGI. So we will do that. Now on our web server side, this depends on if you have a Nginx web server or an Apache web server. I tried both and I will say the Nginx works a little easier. Uh, I only recently switched over to Nginx. Um, so I'm gonna, anyway, I'm just gonna open this up. It wants you to make, of course, you know, for all your subdomains or websites, you're gonna have a separate config file. Um, so I will create mine here. You can see my internet's running a little slow. Um, so this thing I'm gonna copy and paste in, but you do have to change parts of it. Um, you're gonna wanna change the server name. So what I did, look at that, so non-responsive. My internet is atrocious today. Um, while that's loading my key presses, I'll note that uh, I did put in two records here. One is for circs and one is for like www circs, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna add both of these in here. Wow, look at this, okay, I might have to, this is literally how bad my internet is. I can't even like, uh, can't even like SSH into my server. Uh, okay, I might have to wait a second. Give me a second. Okay, we're back, yeah. It's also raining, so I have really terrible internet. What I was saying is for the server name, here's what you wanna do. Um, you wanna say, you know, let's say circs.lukesmith.xyz or whatever your domain is. And you also wanna say www.circs. Uh, dot Luke Smith dot XYZ. You don't have to do that, but I like having www mapped and of course don't forget the final semicolon here uh, Let's see is there anything else we need to change it here? No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run certbot to get uh, SSL like HTTPS, so I'm not gonna deal with that anymore um, Anyway, so I'm going to uh, all right, so it tells us to enable our um, circs instance Beep. Okay, copy and paste and that's the hardest stuff, okay? So that should enable it, and now it's going to, it tells us to restart Nginx and UWSGI. So I'm gonna do that. And remember, we had that little error a second ago. We'll deal with that if it isn't working. So, okay, restarting Nginx, we're waiting. Okay, restarting WSS, uh, UWSGI. So now at this point, I think it should be working. Let's at least test it out. So I'm gonna go to Cirques dot luke smith dot xyz we'll see if anything comes up uh okay so it says not secure um that's sort of to expect it i'm going to we'll, fi we'll fix that in a second but let's just say uh see what's actually there okay now that's directing to one of my other uh web pages so let me that means that there's some kind of error with nginx or it's inferring that that is the direct let's see Actually, maybe I'll just run certbot on it, okay? Because usually, if you don't have SSL, like if you f try and force SSL connections um, on your website, which I might have going on, um, it might just try and, oh, excuse me, <coughs> it might just try and find whatever SSL uh, or HTTPS uh, website works. So I'm gonna run certbot. Um, I expect everyone has used certbot before. If you have a server or web server, uh, I am just gonna be running it uh, on circs and um, www circs. So that's gonna take a second. Um, so certbot, if you don't know, it just gives you HTTPS for free. It's very nice, very handy, much better than you know choosing, you know, paying for it or something. And it's gonna say, do you wanna redirect your website? I'm gonna say yes, uh, which is two. Uh, let's see, all right, it says that it's working now. Okay, now let's try this out. Circs.lukesmith.xyz. Uh, okay, it says Luke Circs up here. All right, here we are. So there, now I have my own Circs instance. I can search for whatever I want, totally private. Um, there are other things to change as well. Maybe I should, um, maybe I should look at this. I think it, I think it says how to disable logs. Okay, yeah, for better privacy, you can disable, oh wait, no, that's Apache logs. Maybe um, Nginx doesn't even have those. But anyway, so that's how you install a Circs server. It basically is copying and pasting from the website. Um, did that? 
I'm trying to remember, do we ever have to fix that little error that happened when we checked it? I guess, I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, either way, well, maybe I should actually see that I can search stuff. So let's say, um, I don't know, let's search for myself. Um, or really, for all the other Luke Smiths in the world. But like, who's this guy? Let's actually find out. Uh, okay, some kind of sports baller, I don't even know. It looks like I'm number one on YouTube nowadays. Look at that, or uh, on YouTube, on, you know, search engines and stuff. That's nice. Although, I don't know who this, oh, this is the Bungie Writer guy. All right. Anyway, so that's about it. That's how you run a Cirque's instance, or at least install it. Very easy. Um, I don't know if I'll keep mine up because I know that all of you know that it exists now and maybe you'll use it, but um, I don't know, maybe I'll rename it or use it on a different website or something like that. But that's how you do it. It's super easy, mega easy. Um, all right, see you guys next time.